Hey folks, Bridges here. Uh, I was asked this evening at parent conferences, um, can my student get on Fusion 360 from their Chromebook? And the answer is yes. So I'd like to show you how to do that. Um, in order to access Fusion 360 from your Chromebook, you have to have gone ahead and made a, an, an Autodesk account first. And we did that, if you remember, back on, let's see here. It was back on September, oh, September 7th, we set up our Autodesk account. Uh, and the way that you set it up was with your Viking mail, username and password. So now that you've got that account set up, let's pop on over to Google and let's just do a quick search for um, Fusion 360 Chromebook. All right. So once you find the Google search results for Fusion 360 Chromebook, um, if you are on your Chromebook, it should result in this one being first, Fusion 360, Autodesk. And you know this is the right one if it says fusion.online.autodesk.com. If it doesn't, then, then you need to look for this one. Okay, It needs to say online in that URL. So once you've found it, go ahead and click that link, and it takes you here. Okay. Um, mine says launch Fusion 360 because I'm logged in. It may say something different like get product or get Fusion 360 or something like that. But whatever it says, go ahead and click on that. Okay. And it's going to want you to log in with your, with your uh, Autodesk account. Like I said, we used your Viking mail username and password. So it, it should just be an easy one for you to log in on. Okay. Once you get it, um, it's going to ask you, do you want to accept and launch Fusion 360? And you're going to say yes. Now, it does take some time to load this program up. That's because there's lots of graphics um, th with the 3D graphics coming out, you know, coming out of the, the having depth mm -hmm. to them. There's a lot of processing. There's a lot of graphics. And it also eats up a lot of your Wi-Fi. So um, just be prepared for that. Okay. Um, when I'm going to pause the video. And when this gets closer to 100, then I'll restart it again. So it's looking like I hit the 100%. I walked away from for just a second, and it's just giving me this black screen. I'm going to give it another uh, 30 seconds to a minute and see if it launches Chrome, see if it launches Fusion 360 on my Chromebook. Um, I'll check back in with you once this finishes loading. Okay, folks. So it's giving me this program right here. I think it's giving me this error. I think that's because I actually had the, the Fusion program itself running on my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Sorry for the delay in the video. Luckily, you didn't have to wait. It took about three minutes or so to load all that up. Okay, because I'm getting this black screen, I'm going to go ahead and hit the refresh button now. And it starts the process over, unfortunately. Oh, it's jumped to 100 for me. Hopefully this works for us. I'm, there it goes. Great. Didn't even have to pause the video. So from this point forward, guys, this should look familiar to you, right? It's going to go ahead and boot up the program just like you see it in class on the PC. Um, and we should be able to use the, the program just like we were here in class. Now, I will tell you, it gets a little laggy. It gets a little choppy at times if I didn't already say that. Um, but, hey, something is better than nothing, right? Of course, you're always welcome to come in and use my labs on Tuesdays and Thursdays after school. So don't hesitate to do that. But um, as a last resort, if you need this at home, this is a program that it will work from your Chromebooks. So as I finish this up, it looks like it's loading on my screen right now. That's wonderful to see. Okay. Again, it asks me to log in, and I'm going to type in my password once more. And here we go, folks. We should be all set with Autodesk Fusion 360. Hopefully this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or reach out. Thanks for watching.